Bravado! Woo! That was wonderful. I really enjoyed that. All right on. Thanks for letting us record that, Anna. Is there anything you want to say to everybody? Hi. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have Anna Borgia back here on the channel tonight, and we're going to give her an interview on her fantabulous playing of that piano there. So, Anna, tell us, how long have you been playing piano? Since I was about three. Three years old? Yeah. Wow, that's great. And have you, is it taken you a long time to learn it? Or is, did it come to you easy? What, what's the journey behind learning that wonderful instrument? I, uh, music is just part of my cell, cellular makeup. It's just inside of me. And, and so I just gravitated towards it. And I hear it all the time whether I'm playing or not, and um, and I loved the piano. I first started studying violin, but violin wasn't my instrument. Piano was my instrument. And my family had a piano, and so I played it. And then when I went away to college, I played piano there. And wherever I went, I found a piano, and I played piano. And then um, when one day, I think I was about 30, my father bought me a piano as a gift. And uh, I just started playing it all the time. And, uh, and, uh, and then I started studying it. And then I, um, I studied it for about four and a half years. And then I moved to Taos. And when I moved to Taos, I, I uh, stopped playing for a while. And then I, uh, when I built this house uh, and I started playing it again, but I was doing so many other things like I was painting and I was in theater and I was writing and I was playing piano, but um, it really actually wasn't until, it wasn't until about eight years ago when I was 71, I realized I, I really needed a, a musical connection with another person because 
I was playing by myself. And, um, and I started studying piano with this woman in town, and, um, and she had studied with someone who had been considered the greatest piano teacher of all times. And, um, and she was wonderful. I studied with her for about a year, and then um, I got invited to play with this uh, musical group, and they performed around Taos, but I was not a performer, and so I couldn't stay with them. And, uh, and then I just went back to playing by myself. And, and, uh, <clears throat> and especially since I stopped painting, I put all of it into my piano. And that's what happened. It's, it's, just, it's just like, you know, it's just like when I'm walking, I hear music. When I'm sleeping, I hear music. Music is always a part of me. You play very mu beautiful music, Hana, for sure. And we really enjoyed that. That was great. I'm glad that you got to share that with us. We're yeah. going to be listening to that over and over, you know. It even soothed the savage beast. You should have seen him. He was a snaggletooth snarl monster earlier, but you couldn't tell after listening to the piano. <laughs> yeah, he, he's definitely mellow now. But great. Well, we're glad that we got to interview you on that, and you can really definitely inspire many with your playing. That was very beautiful. We really loved it. Thank you. Okay, say bye to everybody. I appreciate your appreciation. For sure. Thank you.